Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So in this one here, I want to talk a little bit more about Rick Grimes and I guess the TV show and some potential storylines that they could get into, but also some stuff that we've actually just recently learned about the character, which is kind of insane, but I guess that's what's kind of exciting about all of it, right? Is the fact that we can actually learn more uh, about this character who I, f I feel like at this point we know so much about, but obviously there's a lot of stuff that you could get into there in terms of his backstory and, and stuff like that that I think could be really fun and I think they could do it on his TV show. So anyways, before we go any further, obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get more Walking Dead content like this. The show is returning in two more days. Technically tomorrow night, we're going to be staying up super late to watch the episodes. And uh, I'm very, very excited about that. So I'm going to be live tomorrow night. So tomorrow night, I guess it's technically like after midnight or or whatever, because the episode drops like 3 three a.m. Eastern, right? I might I might get it early like I usually do, because for some reason I always get it early, but some people don't get it early, so maybe I won't, but that's the plan. So definitely, if you want to go follow me on Twitch, definitely do so. I'm going to be live reacting there to the episode and also answering your guys' questions about the episode. It's always fun when we do this, so yeah, I hope to see you guys there tomorrow night, and then afterwards I'll do my review and my trailer breakdown for episode 19 and all that, the... Uh, I guess the morning of the next day and that's it's literally just tomorrow night, which is kind of exciting So yeah, I hope to see you guys there on Twitch tomorrow, but let's actually talk about this So um, the reason why a lot of this stuff came out is because of all the stuff that's actually just been recently coming out We're on the Walking Dead and just like stuff that's sort of been happening over You know, I guess over the series like they're auctioning off a bunch of stuff And again, these are little details that like Andrew Lincoln might already know just because he knows the character already, right? And there's just stuff that if you're on set filming, there's little details that you're going to notice because you're, you're the one physically looking at it if you're acting in the scene, right? Whereas, you know, afterwards they might cut some stuff out or, you know, like for us, we might just see a certain shot, certain angle of this. We might not really think too much of it. But apparently there's like a diploma or whatever for Rick and his name is actually Richard, which is like, I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? You call him Rick for short, but his name's Richard. Like he was born Richard Grimes. Yeah, that's just, that's a little different. But not only that, his middle name is D, so his full name is Richard D. Grimes. And yeah, so I, I don't know what his middle name is. It's just sort of that's the that's the initial there. But that it's interesting that we actually learned that about the character because I had no idea that he had a middle name. But technically, his name is Richard D. Grimes. I mean, Rick Grimes just obviously sounds more badass. But I think the name Grimes in general is just so cool. Like, imagine having that as your last name, like Grimes. Like, that's just such a cool name. Not only that, there's actually some stuff inside the, the, the photo book. So obviously, there's like this photo album that he has. And there's a bunch of pictures of his family and whatnot. And there's some stuff that you can see. I mean, like, obviously, it's probably Andrew Lincoln, just younger. But they probably just use older photos or whatnot for the shot. And, um, I mean, it's supposed to be, like, him when he's younger, right? So that's Rick when he was younger and whatnot. But there's a shot of Rick when he's technically, like, I don't know how old he is, but he's with someone here. And so this here got everyone thinking about, you know, is this Rick's brother? Because Rick in the comic has a brother. His name is Jeffrey Grimes. And, you know, in the comic, he's never, ever, really ever mentioned. I think Lori mentions his brother Jeff or something like that in the third issue or something like that like the third issue ever and there was 193 issues I believe and that was over you know from 2003 up until 2019 or something like that so again like this was one line and it was just sort of never talked about again you know it was just sort of assumed Rick never had a brother but he technically did he, he had a brother Jeffrey Grimes and it was only like 10 15 years later like honestly it was I don't even know when it was five six seven eight years ago or whatever where, you know, Robert Kirkman actually got into the backstory of that and actually told the story of Jeffrey Grimes and what happened to Rick's brother, which sadly, Rick's brother does die. You know, he does die in Barcelona. I mean, I guess his fate sort of left like open ended. But I mean, I'm pretty sure he had a walker bite. So I'm assuming that he's actually gone. And, um, you know, obviously on the show, there's no there's been no mention of his brother. You know, there's been no mention that his brother could be in Barcelona. But, you know, fans have always sort of wondered, could they ever get into that storyline? Could they ever introduce his brother, right? And it's one of those things that is, it's hard because Rick, Rick sort of never talked about him. But I think you could sort of argue that Rick has never really talked about anyone in his family. He talked about his, I think he talked about his father one time, then he talked about his grandparents one time. That's literally two times throughout the entire series. Maybe there's a couple more times that I'm not remembering. But for the most part, that's all I really remember. It's just those two times. I think he talked about his father 
in season two when he was with Carl, you know, he said his father was good like that in terms of, I don't know, some sort of parenting lesson. And then I know there is the grandfather mention. Actually, I actually think there was two things. I think he talked about his grandfather around season five or season six, somewhere around there. Maybe it was season seven. And then he talked about, well, I guess we saw sort of the flashback where we saw Rick as the police officer holding a like, you know, very young Carl. Anyways, he's never really talked about his family too, too much. And again, if you're looking at this photo album thing and you're thinking that this could be evidence... I mean, it could be. That's the thing. It actually could be. Like, if they ever wanted to introduce his brother onto the show, like, it's basically going to gonna kind of... It would have to be in a way where it makes sense, right? I mean, first of all, they do have the real... Like, they have an excuse because, like, well, it's a comic thing. And technically on the show now, because of this photo album, it was a thing, right? It's just a matter of, like, how can they actually do it where people aren't going to view it as, oh, you're just doing this so that you can have another Grimes family member around, right? Like, that's what's kind of annoying now is that the show's in a place where some people are just going to view it like that. And I think the way you have to handle that, if anything, is maybe Rick just sort of talks about stuff of when he was younger and talks about his parents and you know, his brother or whatever, and just sort of, you know, throws out the idea out there that he does have, you know, he has a sibling out there, though he believes that they're probably dead or whatever, right? Because Rick is somebody, and this is the one thing that I will say about that, because like some people are going to say, well, no, like if he had a sibling or, or whatever, he would have mentioned them or he would have tried to find them. He never even tried to find his parents. Like Rick never cared to find his parents right in the beginning of the apocalypse. He never even thought, oh, I'm gonna go find my mom and dad. Right. Like Rick was like, I'm going to go find my son. (laughs) Like that was basically it. And then he just sort of went from there to there. Rick is someone who really focuses on just on the now. He doesn't focus on the future. You know, he really focuses on just trying to get through the moment right now, trying to survive this. And that's sort of who he's always been. Andrew Lincoln's actually talked about this before as well. And people in general, like writers and stuff and, and cast members, showrunners and stuff have talked about that. Like Andrew Lincoln, not Andrew Lincoln, but Rick Grimes really just focuses on what's going on currently because I remember there being a lot of talk like why doesn't he try to find a cure or like does he really believe that Eugene you know knows the cure or whatever and the response was always like well you know he doesn't really necessarily believe that there is one there or even is hoping that there's going to be one he's just sort of like well you know we're in this situation right now so this is all that matters how do we get out of this situation right so I don't think he's really thinking of everything properly and then you have to question a lot of the characters again like if you're gonna start saying like well why didn't he care to find this family member like there's a lot of other characters on the show as well like Lori. i mean daryl daryl's already with his with his brother merle but a lot of characters from season one even season two you know that we were introduced to never really cared to go and look for their families too much you know especially extended family or if they had brothers or whatever it was always just sort of who they had around them or they already sort of lost you know siblings or parents or whatever so i just i think it makes sense that if they want to go down this route they can Now, will they? That I, you know, originally a long time ago, I would have said, no, they probably wouldn't. But I would say, you know, now I think there there is a possibility that they could. It's just a matter of, you know, is it going to make sense? And honestly, I guess right now I'd probably lean more towards no, they probably won't ever get into that. But I think in the Rick TV show, if they ever wanted to touch on something like that, there just has to be a scene where he just confirms that he did have a brother. You know, like, that's all it needs to be is just that he confirms he had a brother. And again, his brother, just because he has one, doesn't mean he's going to be a, a main character. You know, I, th- I think Robert Kirkman sort of handled it properly because, like, it was revealed that he had a brother, but his brother died pretty early on in the apocalypse. So it's like, in that way, maybe they do something like that, like he had a brother. Maybe he died early on in the apocalypse, right? So it's not going to really matter with the current story. I know there's a lot of theories out there. People are saying, like, oh, his brother is Major General Beale and stuff like that. Like, I, I really hope not. I hope they don't do anything like that. It's just too silly. It's it's way too much. But I think they should introduce that. You know, Jeffrey Grimes is a character in the comic. I, I think they should introduce the fact that he does have a brother. And maybe his brother's still alive, maybe he's not. And if he's not, then it's whatever. It sort of follows the comic as well, right? So I think that's kind of cool. And I think that's one of those things where in the Rick TV show, I'm I'm really excited about these elements here. You know, introducing new aspects to the character and just finding new ways to tell that character's story. Because the, the first season is going to be six episodes. You know, it's going to really be like focused largely on Rick and Michonne's relationship. Rick finding out that he has a son, you know, in, in RJ. 
and just a lot of those types of story elements, right? A lot of the catching up on what's going on and then sort of their reunion, trying to find each other, getting Red Machete Rick, getting the Michonne from the prison arc, or at least when she was fighting the governor. And then, like I said, introducing some of the CRM threat and really getting into that. And then season two and going forward, you know, I don't know how many seasons there's going to be. There's going to be, I mean, I think at the most three to four seasons, I don't see them going longer than that. It really depends on them. They're definitely going to be doing a season two for sure. Um, and then I think a season three will happen, but that might be the last unless they want to push it again. Maybe they'll go to a season four. But again, I don't see this lasting more than that. Like, I think at the absolute most, they're willing to go like four to five seasons. I don't think they want to make it as long as The Walking Dead. It all depends on the story. It all depends on how everything's going to be worked out here. And Andrew Lincoln and Denai Guerrera are very, you know, focused on this story. They're they're working on it constantly. And so, I, you know, they, they're, they're going to know what they want to do. If they want to wrap stuff up eventually, they're going to want to wrap up the story a little bit here. They're going to say whatever, right? So it's it's cool. I'm definitely really excited to see what that's going to bring. And I, I can't wait to learn more stuff here. You know, I think with Rick... There's a lot more stuff that you can get into here, and it's just kind of cool that we're learning just like these small details about the character, right? So anyways, I'm going to leave it here. Definitely post your thoughts down below. Do you think they could ever introduce Jeffrey Grimes? Do you think that photo in the photo album confirms it? And um, yeah, I guess I'll just leave it here. Make sure you be a subscriber if you want to get more walking content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.